Roger. Roger, hold this. Let the sword be with you for now.
with the exception of some details. Unfortunately, I do not see anything that could prevent the spirit of the Gorgon from reuniting with her body. No way to stop her? No. But here's what's peculiar. That special reflective material that was applied to the surface of the warrior's shield. In the book, they call it Merarium. Will we make a similar reflective surface? No. No, that way we'll end up with the same situation as we had the last few centuries. People will continue being turned to stone by accidentally glancing at the reflection that contains the rebellious spirit. There is a large spiral staircase in the hall just above the petrified Gorgon body. If we manage to get Merarium, then we will try to enclose the spirit into it. Just like a mirror prison. We must do it immediately after the spirit reconnects with our body. But first we need to figure out how to melt the metal which we'll spill on top of the Gorgon right from those stairs. But we can't waste any time. Our last hope will fade away with the last ray of sunshine. And where do we find this murarium? The book says that it was produced not far from here, in the mines. The problem is the poisonous rivers don't reach those territories. And that's where the reign of the dark forces begins. I'll go there. Out of all of us, I'm the only one who's able to resist the darkness. Well, my dear, if you say so. Now let's get back to my place. That's where the shortest path to the entrance of the mine starts. But the pot in which we'll melt the substance better be prepared now.